So, hi guys and welcome. My name is Thorsten Schmidt and welcome on the NMS Prime channel. NMS Prime is an open source DOCSIS provisioning system. So if you are a cable operator and you are also a fan of DOCSIS, then maybe you should take a look at NMS Prime. And in this video and in the next videos, I want to show you how you can set up the NMS Prime system. NMS Prime is completely open source and it's completely free. So in this video, I want to give you a short introduction of the playlist, how to install NMS Prime. So let's jump in. In the first video of the playlist, which is called setting up a VM, a virtual machine with CentOS 7, um, I will show you, or I will explain you exactly how you need, or what you need to do to set up a virtual machine with the cage VM, the kernel virtual machine interface. The KVM is completely free and is completely available in the Linux kernel. So we make heavy use of it and we recommend you to use it if you want to install the NMS Prime system for you guys. So in the first video, I talk about setting up a virtual machine with the kernel virtual manager. Um, in this video, I also want to show you or want to explain you which are the requirements for the system. So maybe just start on the video one. In the second video, I want to show you how you need to set up the network interfaces and how to install NMS Prime via RPM. So the second video is about network and you can install the NMS Prime system via RPM. So it depends on how fast your kernel virtual machine or your virtual machine is. And if you have a really fast VM, then NMS Prime will install maybe between 5 to 10 minutes. So don't worry about it. If you do not get stuck anywhere, it will be really fast done. In the third video, I'm talking about what are the first steps after you install NMS Prime via RPM. The RPMs provide by default also a full compliant CACTI and Isinka installation. And after you install NMS Prime, you need to change passwords inside of CACTI and inside of Isinka and inside NMS of Prime. And there are some small fixes. So this will be done in the third video, which is called setting up. These are fast stuff, which I will explain in this video. In the next video, I want to speak about the first configurations you need to do when setting up NMS Prime. In this video, I want to jump deep inside the topic of config files about the CMTS configuration and about of quality of service config files. So it's about QoS. If you don't know what it is, it's quality of service, which is the speed which in capable modem is uh, assigned to. And I will speak also about how to use config files and how you will create your own first config files. So it's really cool stuff. And then, of course, you need to configure your first CMTS cable modem termination system. In the next video, there are some small command line options, which you will learn how to use them and how to bring the system, make the system ready. Now I need to take a look at my paper. In the sixth video, I want to show you exactly how you can set up a first CMTS. So I will make this by uh, Cisco UBR. 7225 and I will exactly show you how you can link or how you can use a serial interface and what you need to type into the CMTS to bring a first cable modem online. So this is also quite cool because we provide some kind of templates so that you don't have to dig deep inside the CMTS configuration. You can just uh, use some kind of copy and paste of our templates and then the cable modem termination system will be running perfectly for you guys. So that's really cool. 
In this video I want to speak more about the network interface stuff or the generic configuration of the cable modem termination system and in this video, in the seventh video, I want to jump into the CMTS RF configuration which means I will show you what you need to do to bring the RF channels online and to get the first cable modem registered. And then in the eighth video I want to add a first demo modem And this demo modem will get online if you configure the CMTS correctly, like I explained in the seventh video. And yeah, that's it. Last video is about some small checkups. So this is just to make you formula with the NMS Prime style and what you can do from command line and stuff like this. So these are some small checkups. So, okay guys, um, I guess if you start installing the NMS Prime system, it will take about, um, it depends, maybe two to four uh, hours to set up the entire system and to have a first cable modem online. If you really know what you are doing, then maybe you can just get the cable modem online in about one hour, but maybe just relax and start looking the first video if you're familiar with uh, some of the topics or with the Linux, then maybe it will go faster. But uh, don't worry, I want to jump exactly into details of how the system needs to be configured and installed. And of course, you can jump inside every video and take a look through it. If you have any further questions during the installation or if something went wrong or you experience problems, then don't worry, just comment uh, below in the YouTube section or contact us directly via the nmsprime.com website. And yeah, that's for now. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter, link below in the section. And my name was Thorsten Schmidt and thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.